And now part two of our exclusive interview with Julian Assange. We pick up our discussion on the fallout from WikiLeaks' release of those leaked DNC emails. Are you receiving more leaks now in the wake of what we saw, you know, here in the U.S. election in July? Yes, every time, of course, that we have a big publication, there's a lot of reportage and sources see this and they go, ah, oh, okay, WikiLeaks works. Uh, I'll, I'll give them my stuff. So I mean, that's a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, it means that we're, we're drowning, uh, having, having to work around the clock. There was a lot of speculation here in the United States that perhaps Russia was behind the hack of the DNC. I know you're not giving up your source. Uh, but there was, there was also speculation about whether your source was inside the DNC and whether it, it may have potentially been a man named Seth Rich who was killed. He was shot in what police initially said looked like a robbery just last month. You came out in, a, in an interview with Dutch Television and mentioned Seth Rich in a discussion about whistleblowers and the need to protect them. And WikiLeaks, in fact, offered $20,000 for information leading to the arrest of Seth Rich's killer. Why are you so interested in Seth Rich's killer? We're very interested in anything that might be a threat to alleged WikiLeaks sources. The police have offered $25,000. Uh, we, we have offered $20,000. Uh, we're not saying that Seth Rich's death necessarily is connected to our publications. That's something that has to be established. But if there's any question uh, about a source of WikiLeaks uh, being threatened, uh, then uh, people can be assured that this organization uh, will go after uh, anyone who may have been involved in some kind of attempt to coerce or uh, possibly, uh, in this case, uh, kill a potential source. Do you have any suspicions on who may have been behind his murder? We have received a variety of information. Uh, uh, we will be reporting that information to the police. I don't think the information so far is enough to um, start uh, pointing any direct fingers. We don't want to compromise the police investigation. Hmm. Trying to read you, Julian, and whether you, yeah, I know you don't want to re uh, reveal your source, but it certainly sounds like you're suggesting a man who, who leaked information to WikiLeaks was then murdered. If there's someone who's potentially connected to our publications and that person is then murdered in suspicious circumstances, it doesn't necessarily mean that the two are connected. But it is a very serious matter of any, that type of allegation is very serious and it's taken very seriously by us. I want to ask you, because there's a big AP report today saying WikiLeaks releases the private information of, of innocence. Well, it's a nonsense report. Uh, it's not by AP. It's not some big team at AP to put this together. It's by a single journalist, Raphael Seta, who has a conflict of interest. Have a look at him on Twitter. Uh, he's been campaigning against us ever since this, um, ever since this uh, DNC leak. The, um I've got to ask you about the U.S. election. As you point out, you're not an American citizen. You're an Australian. You know, you're clearly not rooting for Hillary. But are, are you rooting for Trump? No. I mean, it's if we have good information on Trump, we publish that. If we have good information on Hillary Democrats, we publish that. Uh, you know, I would like to believe uh, that no organization, no media organization in the United States, would not have published uh, the DNC email. Mm. Um, but. I don't think that's true, actually. I think MSNBC wouldn't have published them. I think the New York Times wouldn't have published most of them. Um, and that's sad. It says incredible politicization uh, in this election of the media. Uh, and it is a bit concerning, um, the allegations that, uh, by the Clinton campaign, that everyone is a Russian agent, are really disturbing. Why is that? Well, because, bizarrely, Hillary Clinton, the Democrat, has become has positioned herself now to be the security candidate. Uh, she's powered up with the neocons responsible for the Iraq war, uh, and she's grabbed on to this kind of neo-McCarthyist hysteria uh, about Russia and is using that to demonize the Trump campaign. The Trump campaign has all sorts of things wrong with it, uh, but as far as we can see, be, being Russian agents is not one of them. Um, you know, some people have asked us, um, when will you release information uh, on Donald Trump? Uh, and, of course, we are very interested in, in all countries uh, to, under, to reveal the truth about different candidates that people can understand. Uh, but it's actually, it's really hard uh, for us to release anything worse than what comes out of Donald Trump's mouth uh, every second day. I mean, it's part of his charismatic appeal that he speaks off the cuff. 
Uh, but, you know, that's difficult for Donald Trump to overcome a lot of those things, uh, even with a lot of great material coming out by WikiLeaks or other publications. Right. And you, you don't you don't do the hacking. You just do the releasing. And, you know, there have been some leaks about our military, including one back in 2007 that was controversial. You guys released video of an Apache helicopter in Baghdad. And sure enough, mm -hmm. the United States had killed two Reuters photographers and some and some children were injured. And WikiLeaks, you know, we saw that thanks to video that you guys released. But the, but the military came out later and said it doesn't show the full context. And they said, RPGs were found. Um, ground troops leader discovered two RPGs, an RPG launcher, a rifle where this group had been clustered. Look, we had a clear result. Uh, the U.S. government had to admit in court under oath uh, in 2013 that not a single person uh, that it could find uh, had been harmed as a result of our disclosures. Do you need to be more careful? Do you, what, what say you to the charge that these releases uh, need to be screened better by WikiLeaks if you're going to do it at all? Well, let, let's back, back step. Uh, so what exactly is the allegation here? The allegation uh, is that WikiLeaks is publishing too much true information. Uh, but private, you know, the half of private that, confidential uh, information. Half, the, half, the half of that, um, we agree. We publish a lot of information, uh, and it's had a perfect record so far. Julian Assange, the man who may hold the October surprise, or perhaps September. We'll have to wait to find out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mika.